Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys all are doing well. Today I am bringing you a 20 minute leg and booty focused workout. For this workout, you do not need any equipment, but I will be adding in the use of this little booty band for some of the exercises. If you don't have a band available to you at this time, do not worry because I will be giving you modifications that you can do for the exercises that do include the band. Um, the way that this workout is structured is each exercise is going to be one minute on and then we'll take a 15 second rest. It's a no repeat workout so we're not going to be doing multiple sets so just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me and without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, first off, we're going to start off by doing just some regular double pulse squats. You have the option, you can do this with or without the band, it's totally up to you. We're going to come down, two pulses, and up. Here we go. All right, if you have a band, you're gonna put on your band. If you do not have a band, what you're going to do next is some squat walk. So staying the same level. One, two, one, two. If you have your band on, we're just going to do some banded walks. So just out and in. Keeping the tension on the glutes the whole time. This is a really great warm up to really fire up those glutes. You want to try and stay the same level the whole time and the tension is on those glute muscles the whole time. 30 more seconds. All right, take the band off. Next up, we're going to be doing a reverse lunge with a kick. So stepping back, kicking, down, and up, other leg. Here we go. So you're really gonna squeeze that glute at the top of the kick, sitting back into those lunges, pushing through the heel as you stand up. to do each leg for one minute. For 30 seconds, you're going to be doing a one leg bridge. Just up and down. 
So we're gonna start off with that. Press those hips to the sky, hold, and lower. Up, and lower. You can have the other leg straight or bent. It's totally up to you. All right, now we're going to press up and we're going to hold. We're just going to hold here for as long as possible. If you can hold the whole 30 seconds, do that. If you need to take a break, come down slowly and press right back up and hold. All right, 15 second rest. Bring those legs in. You can give that glute a little bit of a stretch. We're getting ready to go right into the other side. We're gonna do 30 seconds of a one leg glute bridge and then 30 seconds of holding. Here we go. Squeeze those hips as high as you can to the sky. Squeeze that glute.
nice. All right, option to put on your band now. We're gonna do some fire hydrants. If you don't have a band, you're gonna do the exact same movements, just without the band. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. Here we go. No rest in between. too much time at the bottom. Most of your time should be squeezing. Nice. All right, we're going to stay on the ground. We're going to come to one side. We're going to do one leg for one minute, taking a 15 second rest in between. We're going to do kind of like some rainbow legs. So bringing the leg as far as you can forward, keeping the leg as straight as possible and squeezing and coming to the side. Squeezing that leg, using that outer thigh. So just lightly tapping those toes on the ground, barely even touching the toes to the floor. Keep that core engaged so you're not wobbling with your body, you're just moving that leg.
All right, option to put the band back on. Again, if you don't have a band, you're gonna do the exact same movements, just without a band. We're doing two glute bridges, and on the second glute bridge, we're going to hold up here and do two abductions. Two, and lower, here we go. So squeezing for one, and lower. Two, hold, one abduction, two abduction, lower. Squeeze those booties. Get those hips as high as you can to the sky and hold them as you do that abduction. Nice one. All right, throw those bands aside. We don't need the band anymore. We're gonna stand up and do a one leg RDL. So you can either do this with having one leg up and squeezing, or if you're gonna lose your balance too much, you're gonna have your one foot behind, sending those hips back and squeezing. Just like if you were to hold dumbbells here, slight bend in the knee and up. Or you're coming down. Pressing your balance, pressing through that heel, and squeezing up. So you should really feel that in your glute. Your glute should be nice and fired up by now. You may also feel this in your hamstring. All right, 15 second rest. We're gonna do the other leg. Whew. Again, so you're either testing your balance or coming forward with that back foot on the floor. Either way, focus on sending that booty backward and pressing through the heel and through the glute to squeeze on that leg. All right, nice. We're taking a 15 second rest here. Next up, we're doing 30 seconds of side lunges. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, then we'll take a 15 second rest. So step your feet up nice and wide. Your toes are pointing slightly forward, not directly to the side, not directly forward either. Have them slightly open and send that booty back. Press through that heel and squeeze that inner thigh as you come up, down and up. And immediately other side, here we go, 30 seconds. Press through that heel. You don't have to come all the way up, you can keep that tension on the glute as much as possible. Send those booties back. Nice. 
All right, last exercise is a sumo squat. We're squatting for 30 seconds. So again, feet generally wide, toes pointed outward just a little bit more than hip wide apart. Coming down and squeezing up, squeezing those inner thighs together. 30 seconds here, here we go. Again, you don't have to come all the way forward and push those hips forward. Just stay down and keep that glute engaged. All right, we're doing 30 seconds of pulses. So pulse it here. Last 30 seconds. We're really gonna feel that burn. We're just gonna embrace it because we're only here for another 20 seconds. Don't come out of it. Just embrace it. Where you feel the pain is where you make the most gains, my friend. Five. Nice stretch. Good job, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute leg and booty focused workout. This is a really great workout to do on its own or you could pair with it another one of my workouts and I have linked all the workouts that I feel fit best with this workout. So I have leg workout in there, also full body workouts in there in the description down below. Below every one of my workout videos, I have extra videos to pair with this one that you can do to make your sessions a little bit longer if you're looking to do something a little extra today. Also, my warm up and cool down videos are in there as well, so make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your feedback down below. I really appreciate all the comments, love, support. Really means a lot to me. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting a lot, almost daily right now, so make sure that you stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.